currently standing on the stump of a big old Sika spruce tree in a freshly cut old growth forest, which is totally cussed, don't get me wrong, but this gives us a really unique opportunity to look at the morphology of these trees and how they grow. So um, tree rings are formed by the cambium layer of the xylem and the phloem. Xylem transports water up, phloem um, brings carbohydrates and energy down, nutrients down, and then as that grows, it forms thicker rings based on the quality of uh, growing season. So looking at the rings of this tree though, we can see that we have really thick rings followed by thinner rings, and they kind of alternate like this, um, especially in this section. So Sika spruce trees, you might see when you see big ones, they have these kind of like vertical um, ribs, almost kind of like veins going up, and that gives the tree torsional support against wind and different elements that it faces as it grows. And we can see here, you know, that we have like this thicker band that goes to thin and then alternating with a thicker band that goes to thin then a thicker band that goes to thin, thicker band that goes to thin, all in the same years. But the tree is actively putting different energy or different resources towards strengthening itself in those weaker areas as it grows. Pretty dang cool to see that. Wow, this is a bummer though. <laughs> 